If you're building a web application in Elixir, you're using Plug. According to the docs, Plug is a specification for composable modules between web applications. At the heart of Plug is the connection, which is represented by the plug.construct. This contains all of the data for a given request. A plug simply takes a connection struct and returns a connection struct. This allows us to take our connection, check and modify it if needed, and pass it down for other plugs to use. Plugs come in two flavors, functions and modules. The best way to understand how plugs work is to build one. So let's get started. In our movie app, let's display the number of movies on every page. Now in our movie controller, we could add logic to get our movie count and add it to every action, but that would create a lot of duplicate code. Let's create a function plug that gets our movie total and assigns it to our connection. We'll start by creating our function. First, we'll create a new module called movie data. Inside it, we'll import plug.con. Then we'll create our function plug named movie total. A function plug takes two arguments, the connection and a set of options. Since we won't use the options in our function, we can ignore them with the underscore. Inside our function, we'll use plugs assign function to assign our movie count to the connection. Let's start with a default value of three to test it out. Now let's go back to our movie controller and include our plug. We'll import the movie data module. Then we'll call plug movie total. Now let's open our app.html.eex. And we'll add our movie total, which we should be able to fetch from the connections assigns as movie total. With that, let's go to the command line and start up our server. And if we open our movie app, we should see the movie total of three displayed. Great, now let's update our function plug to get the real count from the database. Back in movie data, we'll need ecto queries from function, so let's import it. We'll also need to alias our repo in movie modules. And great, with that, let's use repo.1 and give it a query that gets the count of all movies in our database. Then we can update the default value with the actual count. And going back to our browser, we see our movie count is displaying the correct number of movies. And if we click through, it's being displayed on each page. That's it for this episode. Thanks for watching and happy coding.